What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Good Old Guitar Channel. I'm your host, Matt Crasciolo. Today, we've got a very quick beginner lesson on Tisha Mingo by Zach Bryan. Now, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and find it helpful. And if you do, of course, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the Good Old Guitar Channel. Uh, and that's enough talking. I said it was going to be quick, and it is, so we'll go ahead and get into it for you. All right, y'all. Tisha Mingo by Zach Bryan. Now, this is a really new song, and it's a good one. Uh, I know you folks have been loving the Zach Bryan lately, along with everybody else, including myself. So, um, I'm going to break this down for you. Like I said, it's going to be a quick beginner lesson. So, before some of you jump all over me and say, Matt, where was the intro? Um, if you know if you want that, we can do it in a separate video. But this video is just a beginner lesson on the song. With that being said, super simple on this lesson today. We have a capo on the sixth fret of the guitar. So I'm going to be referring to the chord shapes as if it was the nut of the guitar. Just keep that in mind. Four chords today. We've got a C. We've got an A minor. We have a G. And we have an F. Adding along to the simplicity of this lesson, y'all, we just have two parts. Just the intro slash verse and the chorus. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and break down that intro slash verse portion for you. So just three chords for this progression, y'all, C, A minor, and G. Uh, we're going to think about the progression as C to A minor to G back to C, uh, and then obviously C begins it over again, uh, and we're going to play through that four times uh, for the verse and intro portion. So we start on the C, we'll go down, 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 up, down, up, A minor, down, 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 up, down, up, G, down, down. C, down, 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 up, down, up, and then we go again. And keep in mind, y'all, we played through that four times, and we finish on the C to bring about the chorus. Um, now, if you'd like, there's a few things you can add into this. You can kind of hit the size on that bass note on the first down strum of each chord, so kind of like... Now I reckon another thing we can do is a little palm muting. Uh, it sounds like that's going on in the song uh, and some verse portions. So we can think something a little like this. What's up to you guys? Now that's going to cover us for the intro and verse. So we're going to go ahead and get into the chorus. y'all just like the verse the chorus is just as simple we are going to be using all four chords however but it's just the addition of that f so we're going to start on it and we're going to go down 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 up down up down 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 up down up down 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 up down up down down so f c g a minor that's our progression, F to uh, C to G to A minor. We play through that twice for the chorus. Uh, and then I believe after every chorus section, there's a little instrumental, which is that same exact pattern. So, Like I said, y'all, this was going to be a quick and simple one today. Hopefully it was. And if it was, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the good old guitar channel, of course. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you're curious about any of the gear that I use in these videos, it's all going to be linked right down in that description for you to check out. Uh, also, guys, I have created a playlist for Zach Bryan, so if you're a fan of his, you like his music, go ahead and check that out. It'll be linked after the video. Um, and guys, last but not least, make sure y'all continue to let me know in the comments which songs you want to hear us do next and lessons for you. Be happy to do it. So with all that being said, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, and thank you, guys. I'll see you next time.